good. Good morning or good afternoon, everyone. Welcome, if you're new here, my name is Polly. I brought back the super duper special purple high banker. I'm at a spot where there is more gravel than there is cheese on Mount Everest. So I imagine if we can high bank for at least 10 hours today, we're gonna leave with a decent amount of gold. So this is the spot. I call it the spot. Lots to look at, but more importantly, a lot of gravel to look through. I found a lot of gold on the stretch here, but I've never high banked this area. And because there's so much gravel around, I figured, why not? So I did some looking around and I think right here is where I'm gonna start the high banker today. I don't think you guys can see very well because there's a lot of shade and sun, which is kind of affecting the camera. But I did move this big rock out of the way. I noticed this real nice packed looking material. You can see all the rocks stuck in there, lots of dirt. So I did a one test pan and these are the colors we received. So not bad, four little tiny little pieces of littles. I'd say that's a good place to start. So I just set up the high banker here and it's not gonna be perfect because I'm not sure what angle to set this at yet. We'll have to do a couple trials. I also think I put in the mats wrong because it's hanging off a little bit here. It's, it's not gonna matter, but it still looks cool. Another thing I did was add a little bit of moss in there. So that's gonna act like a nugget trap, hopefully. But yeah, let's uh, begin. I forgot I had to do this part, which really sucks, but I have to make a big pile of dirt next to the high banker to avoid walking an extra 10,000 miles every time I need to scoop. Oh. <gasps> it's a heart. What happened? So my hole is slowly coming along here. Um, as you can see, there's bedrock right there, bedrock right here, and there's a little deep spot right here. So I'm thinking this runs in that way, maybe into like a crevice or something, but it's looking really good. You got a lot of packed rock in here, which is really good to see. Yeah, and obviously we found some gold. So once I make this pile big enough, then we will get running. So having a closer look at this bedrock here, I've kind of just been scraping away. I'm pretty sure that's a little crevice in there. And if we can find a lot of those, then I know we're gonna find some decent gold. I thought I did see a little piece of gold down in here when I was scraping, but I might have just buried it. Now, I don't wanna spend too much time just crevicing here because when you're high banking, you just need to move a lot of material and uh, I'm getting distracted. So yeah, back to digging. Something interesting I found about rocks is that rocks are not vegetation. Okay, it has easily been three hours or so, and here is our pile of dirt. We are ready. So let's begin. High banking has never been something I enjoy doing, but this new system makes it so much easier to set up. I'm actually planning on getting a poly version of this high banker built. All right, let's call it a day. Shut her down, boys. One-handed. How did this thing get so dirty so fast? So I'm just having a quick break here. This is tiring. All by yourself, high banking, who does that? It's taken me like four hours to accumulate all this dirt and I'm already going through it pretty quick. I really wanna get two runs in today, but if I run out of material, then, well, if there's still daylight, I, I might actually pile up some more. Depends how much gold we're finding. Yeah, I wanna at least be here for 10 hours. Back to work. 
I carried on feeding Barney until he got full, and then we decided to do our first cleanup. Look at this bird. It is so beautiful. Hi, you're my friend. Okay, we're gonna have our first break right now. See how much gold we found or didn't find. I haven't gone through all the material yet. It's only been about half an hour of running, but I am pretty tired. So I'm gonna have some food, have some water, and then we're gonna clean out these sluice riffles and see what lays below. I did notice though, like I said earlier, I don't think I put the mats in right and now they're sort of doing the wave. So there are some spots that don't have any material in it. That's something I'm gonna have to work out, but no big deal. Hopefully there's candy. So this is where I'm getting all the material from. I don't know if you can really see on video, but it is good material. It's right on bedrock. I moved all those rocks to get there and including those three big ones over there. My goal if we keep in this spot is just to work up that way or this way, wherever the bedrock takes us. So I got here just after eight o'clock this morning and it's around 4 p.m. right now. So I've been here for about eight hours, two hours ago. And uh, one sec, I'm getting hot. Uh, Forget what I was gonna say. So I just grabbed the gold pan, disconnected the hose, and now the sun is in the most worstest spot you can be in because it's gonna cause a huge reflection. And we'll do it anyway, have a quick look. Yeah, I gotta get, oh, I see a piece of gold already. One right there and one right there. And they're sitting in a spot where there's no material. So obviously the water's hitting there pretty hard. Do I see any more? I'm not gonna touch it. All right, I'm just gonna put it in the pan. I do admire how quick it is to clean these. I'll still rinse these off into the pan afterwards. I actually should have got water in my pan first. <laughs> Notice how the water's leaning onto one side like that? I gotta raise this side up a little bit. I already see some gold. I don't know if you guys can see that. One, two, go away sand flies, get a freaking job. So we know there is gold in here. That's a good sign that there could be gold around. Did you guys know that? When you find gold, it's a good sign that there could be gold around. I've never said that before. Do you guys see that? There is a nice little flake right there. That's a good sign that, you guessed it, there could be gold around. All right, I'll set you guys up a little higher. I'm actually quite impressed that we already saw gold. Something that hasn't happened this year is finding enough gold with a high banker where, where I can go home and actually weigh it. Cause like I think three, two or three times now I've gone out high banking, I, we didn't find enough gold to weigh. So hopefully today, just a, just a tree. I didn't do it. So I'm not gonna lie, I did have a peek and I am actually pretty impressed. We might actually be here for 20 hours now. Okay, so I'm gonna try this tripod technique where I'm hands free. Look at, there's one piece right there. I should've done a better job shaking it. Oh, this is awful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah! Oh my God, that looks so good. That looks amazing. Gold's always gonna look like a lot more when you're on the river, especially when it's wet and with that black sand, but I'm not complaining because that is beautiful. I'm gonna see if I can get all those pieces of gold into one pile to make it even cooler. There we go, a little better. Yes, I'm impressed with that. Why don't I suck this up and let's go for a round two. One mat at a time, I slowly but quickly, carefully, quickly, slowly reset Barney for our next run. It was like surgery. Everything looks like it's running smooth. <laughs> Maybe a little heavy on this side. <sighs> I'm so tired of shoveling. I don't want to shovel anymore. I quit. Surf's up, dude, yeah! How many different shots can I do high banking? Lots. Slow. 
Slowly but surely, our pile of pay dirt disappeared. Alright, so the engine died. I'm not really sure why. I'm pretty sure I flooded it, but that doesn't matter because we only have one scoop left and it's already six o'clock. I'm not gonna bother panning out this. I'll just keep that there for next time. Now before I clean out the sluice box here, I'm gonna quickly show you what we have to do in order to high bank legally here in BC. As good stewards of the land, we're gonna be doing what's called reclamation. Basically when you have a hole, you cover it back up. For the government people, so you can show your work, that way you can keep your claim for a little longer, if that makes sense. Good as new. <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> Tricked you. I'm so funny. Okay, first, oh, second look. Is there gold that we can see in here? It's actually starting to get dark, so I'm gonna put on that flashlight. I don't see anything. All the riffles are nice and full, so that's a good sign I know what I'm doing. Yeah, I don't know. We are gonna have to just put it in the pan and see. I brought a, a pan full of water this time. So, let's start with this one. Mm. Yeah, it looks way better than the last, last time. It's a lot more even. All the riffles are nice and packed. But that doesn't necessarily mean we found gold. Or if we did find gold, it doesn't mean that we found more than our first test, but if we're still on that line of gold, we will absolutely find it. What I should be doing is pan into another pan, but I only brought the one pan. And plus, if I drop any gold in here, I'll just come back and snipe it. If you guys are interested, if you guys are interested in using the same pans I use or any other equipment that I recommend or that I use myself, I have links down below where you can go and buy them from Amazon. They're pretty cheap and you can be like Pioneer Polly. I'm starting to see more gold show up. Okay, now the question is, is it better than our first run or is it worst, worstest than our first run? Oh, I just lost a little piece of gold. Okay, so different scenery here. I didn't peek yet, so we're doing this as a team. Oh, there's still so much material in here. More black sand though, that's a good sign. But how much gold did we find? Oh, there's our first piece right there. <gasps> hey, it's like a little, that's a nice little chunky bit. Huh, look at that. Yeah, <laughs> not bad. Look at this guy. We have a nice little picker. It's so thick actually, I should even call that a little nugget. Yeah, so we have a lot of gold in there. I don't think it's as much as our first run, but we do have a bigger piece in here, so I say it makes up for it. So not a bad little pile of gold for round two. What a nice day. This is where I worked, and I kinda wanna work up this way next time, and maybe even work all the way up to the high banker or something. Leave me a comment. If you want me to do more high banking here, sweet. I, I probably just do that, because I'm not normally a high banker, but if I can find gold like that all the time, I'll become a high banker. So let's dump out the snuffer bottle and see what we got for the day. So here's all the gold that we found today, minus that one piece I lost while panning. Oh, you know what, I probably lost more while panning, but we'll never know. So let's go to the house and weigh it all and see how much lies here. There's a rogue nugget again. So there's all the gold, all nice and dry, warm and cozy. Gold always looks like it shrinks when you get home, but it's probably because of the water. I was in the pool! So the first thing I want to do is weigh this big monster nu- Oh, I still have a little bit of gold on my fingers, but no big deal. I'm gonna weigh this big gold nugget. I'm gonna guess 10 ounces. Probably not. 0.23 lambs. It's not a bad picker. So what did we get high banking for 10 hours? Was it worth it? Yes. 1.16 grams, so that's about 60, 70 bucks for 10 hours. So you do, do the math, I'm not gonna do it. Worth it. Okay, what an epic day. I'm actually really pleased with that. I never usually dig or high bank because I'm usually like sniping in the water, looking for gold that way. But I mean, look how much gravel I have around here. 
I can be out here forever and I probably will be. The sun has already gone down through the trees now, so it is probably just the best time to leave. Now, if you enjoyed this video, you're probably going to enjoy what I have in store for you because I have a lot of traveling coming up and a lot more unique, different ideas, I'll just say, that I think you will enjoy. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already with the bell notifications on. That way you get notified when I do make something new. Thank you for watching. Until next time.